Good afternoon, Eisenhower. Squire here bringing you afternoon announcements. Check out Squire at www.squirenews.com to stay updated on the latest Eisenhower news. The upcoming Warren County School District All County Musical will be the Newsies. Performance dates will be March 14th, 15th, and 16th at the Warren Area High School. Attention juniors that are interested in attending the Rotary Youth Leadership Program June 9th through 14th at Westminster College. If you are a student that is interested in the leadership experience and have the academic qualities and meet the criteria, please see Ms. Golub in the guidance office for an application. This is a wonderful opportunity for our future leaders. And now on to sports. And now with some sports. We had a doubleheader Wednesday night, boys basketball and girls basketball. The boys played Youngsville. Tough loss. Tough loss. I mean, you always want against Youngsville because it's Youngsville. But the shots just didn't fall. And it was kind of a tough loss. I mean, it yeah. was. If they hadn't made their shots, they probably would have had them. They would have been a lot closer anyway. Yeah. The girls won, though, 38 to 36, I believe, against Titusville. Had some really good movement. I mean, they did good. Yeah. I mean, tight game coming to the end, yeah. but they pulled it out and came out with the dub. Got it for senior night. That's right. That's it for sports. News from guidance. Students looking for scholarships uh, should stop into the guidance office to check out the resources on the scholarship bulletin board. All high school students that are taking a phys ed substitution for gym credits, they need to turn into a form into the guidance office. And if this is not done, they will not receive a credit for that year. Blank forms are located in the guidance office. SAT test. Seniors are reminded and encouraged to check out the scholarship bulletin board that is located in the guidance office. New scholarships are added weekly. SAT prep classes are available at the higher ed in uh, North Warren. Classes start on Saturday, March 9th. Students may talk to Mrs. Golab in the guidance <laughs> office if they want more information. This year's college reps will be scheduled during advisory only. Interested juniors and seniors need to sign up in the guidance office prior to the scheduled visits. And now on to the Mr. EHS interview. We're here with Brody Whitney to ask him a few questions about last year's Mr. EHS. So Brody, what made you decide to do Mr. EHS? I watched it for a couple of years and decided I was the idiot for the job. Awesome. So, when you did it, how was the experience? Good, bad, medium? <laughs> I said it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. There was a lot, of, a lot of seniors that I didn't really know very well, but, you know, we talked, we chatted, good things happened. I got second place. It was all right. Yeah. So you got to know them a little better, that nice, fun camaraderie. Who won last year? Yeah. Joseph Bauer won because he bribed the judges with cupcakes, and that's my theory. I believe you wrestled a Sasquatch for your talent. Not a Sasquatch. The Sasquatch. It was a pain in my butt. Yeah. Did, did you get him, though? Have you, I are did. you guys friends now? Or? Not really. Um, he holds a grudge like no other. Yeah, yeah. okay. Steals um, from beef jerky? No. Yeah. Are you planning on attending this year's show? I'm competing in this year's show. Whoops! <laughs> okay, what's your talent going to be this year? I'm going to build a really big wall. Out of what can we know? Um, I don't know. Probably boxes. Okay, interesting. Bowling so like balls, construction you know. building type talent? It's just going to be a big wall. It's going to be a good thing. Alright. Cool. Thursday, February 21st, come watch Mr. EHS. If it's a full house, I'll wear the tape. If not, you're missing out, so be there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. In other news, there will be a key club meeting on Thursday, February 28th in Mr. Hubach's room in advisory. Now I'm in there. We're here with Josh, and I want to know about how many Valentine's Day cards are exchanged <laughs> each year. Three. It's actually one billion. We're here with Mr. Vanetta, and I want to know what percentage of those who buy flowers on Valentine's Day are women? I would say it's probably in the 20% range. Yeah, it's 27. All right, we're close. You going to buy your wife flowers this year? Um, I am now, Alex. Thanks a lot. We're here with Caroline, and I want to know how many roses are given for Valentine's Day each year? I'm going to go with 3,000. Uh, it's... About 50 million, actually. All right, it was close. <laughs> close enough. We're here with Mr. Black, and I want to know, what is the most popular person to give a Valentine's card to? Your wife. 
It's actually teachers, according to this. Wow. <laughs> I'm so, surprised. You think your students are going to get you any cards this year? Probably not. <laughs> We're here with Austin, and I want to know, what are the two traditional colors of Valentine's Day? Uh, red and white. Red it's, pink. Yeah, there you go. It's red and pink. We're here with Michael and Callie, and I want to know, what is the most popular Valentine's Day candy? Chocolate. Heart candies? Well, you're both kind of correct. It's actually chocolates in a heart-shaped box. We're here with Schwonky, and he's going to tell us what he wants for Valentine's Day this year. Someone to love me. We're here with Josh, and I want to know about how many roses are given each year for Valentine's Day. Uh, probably like three. <laughs> no, it's actually like 50 million, but you're close. <laughs> This is Alex with some choir news. This Thursday was Valentine's Day, of course, and the choir in seventh period that day went around and serenaded some students, and now we have some footage from that. Oh, yes, for the longest time, I could be a dream. If I could take me up in paradise up above, if you would tell me I... Thursday, February 23rd. First. First. <laughs> it's the first. Do I have a paper due on the 23rd? Last night. Boys and girls. Just stop it and redo it. <laughs> I can 